If there's one area where basic mathematics can help us in chemistry, then it's to balance chemical equations. Now you don't need to be a genius to do this, just knowing numbers would do. Now let's take a simple example and a very common example. Hydrogen reacts with oxygen to give water. Now, this hydrogen molecule which has two atoms of hydrogen reacts with this oxygen molecule which has two atoms of oxygen and the reaction gives us water. But if you logically look at this equation then you should notice that something's wrong. Because if you see on the reactant side there's two atoms of oxygen and coming to the product side we have only one atom of oxygen. So where did this atom of oxygen disappear? Well I know about the conservation of mass and this cannot happen. Well, this is where the math comes in handy. You see, this equation would be fair if in this equation we multiply the oxygen with half a molecule. That means hydrogen molecule will react with half a molecule of oxygen and this gives water. Well, that seems simply fair. But this notion of using half a molecule of something looks really absurd. I mean, hydrogen reacts with half a molecule of oxygen. That seems not so right. So, remember in early algebra, we learned that we can multiply with one number two sides. So, that's what we are going to do here. Multiply this whole equation with 2. So, you get 2H2 plus 1O2 gives 2H2. Now, this is a balanced chemical equation. Always remember, if an equation is not balanced, it's not right. We'll see some more examples of balancing chemical equations in the further videos. So what have we learned in this video? We have seen about balancing of chemical equations. So until next time, happy learning.